versus Brown. Out, he's locked out the front row. Did Will Brown jump the start briefly? The Comptu entries absolutely swamped him off the line because there was a reset there for Will Brown. Bavish and Huff, they're away strongly here. Through one. Oh, oh, oh that's right. between Cameron across the top of the Audi, and he's gone. He's gone right. He straightens it up, but I'm sure there's going to be damage to that Peugeot. It continues on here at turn number two. We're going to have to look at that start, but turn one was turning it on like it did last night. More action in the middle of the field here. That thing, we were on a wide shot for our coverage. That thing was on two wheels. That was stunt style through turn one for Aaron Cameron. So he's closing here, Will Brown, on your race leader in Rob Huff. That's an interesting insight, that one, Rusty. Excellent bit of insider information. And that's the kind of things that these touring car drivers will be looking to do. But let's just observe this for a moment now. Look how much more confident Will Brown is on corner entry, carrying the speed into the apex. <laughs> He's faster on the initial phase of the corner, but look at the launch that Huff will get. He can pull away on corner exit. That gives him the advantage on the long stretches into the big deceleration zones. This is going to be fascinating to see how they battle out. Also fascinating, not for the first time since I've been in Australia, John and Cox is getting a little bit spicy. Oh. Robin, Zach Suter's rear fender, they both survive. Three wide chaps. We call him the human highlights reel here in Australia. Yes. And he delivers it, doesn't he? Through turn number four and that Schaffler Peugeot. Look who's in the mix. The wobble of five or six cars here, Rusty. Nestor Girolami. Girolami is right in the middle of it there. So he's up into 17th place. Oh, a contact under brakes. Just a little unsettled. Gets it together. We take another look at a replay of the start. Slight movement there from Will Brown. Does he stay within the line, though? That's the question, though. He's pulled the trigger. It's five seconds. Already been called Ooh, from Motorsports. Wow. Australia. Race control will come Burbage, back to that. Burbage, too, has got a five-second penalty. Look that'll at be, that. That'll be for this. In that the middle of turn look, one. That doesn't look any nicer any time you watch no. it again, does it? That's a big, big hit. So here it is from Aaron Cameron's car, the E-Valvoline Peugeot. He makes a storming start up until turn number one. Barguana to the lane, to your point. The 71 is in the lane. The person entry has returned. So what a tough weekend. Cameron. So that five seconds has been added to Will Brown's time. And the same for Frederick Favish. Both have been alleged to jump the start. Five seconds will be added to their time at the end of this race. What a shame. And he knew it too, because he, he endeavoured to stop the car, to arrest it. That's why the Contiu entries yeah. swamped him off the line. Jordan Cox down the inside now of Zach Suter. So they continue to go at it. Where's Jordan up into 16th place now? He'll have had 15th, in fact, because he's ahead of Zach Suter. So that's for 15th place. Talk about side by side. Here's Nesta Girolami on the move as he starts to pick his way back through the field outside that top 10. He started from the pole today for the top 10 race, but came to a grinding hold at the end of lap two at turn six. So 129 moves up into 12th ahead of Santiago Arrutia. Oh, I'm hearing that. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. And Jan Elishay. That's less than ideal for Cyan Racing Lincoln Co. Oh. Oh, he wasn't a particularly happy bunny on the grid. I'm sure he'll be delighted with that particular move from his teammate. There's another mistake, so Marching Qua having assaulted Jan Elishé. Locks up the front axle, runs deep, that allows his teammate back through, but more importantly, it allows Bailey opportunity, a very good opportunity. Ah, so that's how that formed down here at turn two. So the Lincoln Co just ahead of Elishé was returning to the track. Yeah, that's Marr, that's Marr on the assault. So there we see, you see, oh, Jan runs a little bit deep. Obviously, he's on a suboptimal line. Starts to close the door, but he's always going to close. Marching was in the way, though. Contact between the two. 
some news this through from race control as well. That five seconds that was handed to Frederick Verviche has been suspended until the end of the race. So it's another twist in the mix of this race now. At this is Jan Elisha, you think, Keane, I've had enough playing with my teammate now, I'm going to have a go with one of the BRC guys, but Mikel Athcona does not suffer fools gladly, thank you very much, and gives a little tap to the side of the double left three time. World champion Athcona has the inside line, holds the ground and takes the position. This is fantastic. We have seen this picture before when it comes to Jan Alishay and Mikel Athkona racing. Now they're side by side. Athkona drops a wheel on to the outside of the racetrack. He has the inside line, but doesn't quite have the overlap. Will Jan Alishay give him racing room? As one, they come out of the corner, trading door handles, trading wing mirrors. It's touring car racing. If you come back with your mirrors, you're not doing it right. And Mikel Athkona on this occasion survives. a good race here today and it's been a masterclass from one of the greats of touring car competition. The weekend storylines started with the Australians commanding the headlines but in the final hit out here at Sydney Motorsport Park it's going to be the internationals that will lock out the podium. Once that penalty for Will Brown is applied, Huff, Mikulis and Vervish look set to be your top three over the line. Look at this here. Game on all the way to the line. And Kona cool. under pressure. This is going to be intense on the final lap. Mikel Athkona hanging on with everything he's got. Jan Elishé using all of the racetrack, all of the surrounding scenery as well. So, so fortunate that Martin Quartz covering his rear behind as well. So, Ma on a defensive action. Jan Elishé is desperate for the points. Mikel Athkona for his teammate and a race winner is Rob Huff, who takes victory in the final of the weekend here at Sydney Motorsports Park. The Audi Sport come to you team are ecstatic with that one. Will Brown crosses the line in second. He will drop away from that position, so your podium will be Norbert Mikulis in second, and a great job again from Frederick Verbeesh in third position. Shout out to Josh Bucken. The HMO customer racing drivers managed to get to fifth. Look at this on the run. Oh, and photo finish <laughs> with Nestor Girolami. <laughs> Great job. Look at Rob Huff celebrating. Awesome stuff here. Great Britain's Rob Huff. <laughs> oh.